Okay, here we are, Jeremiah chapter 3, and this week we're going to start down in verse 11, and last week, in a little bit of recap, you know, we're talking about uh, actually uh, kind of dividing up uh, in, in, in what God instructs Jeremiah to preach, uh, dividing up uh, Israel, he says, Israel uh, and he's calling Israel the northern ten tribes, or Samaria, okay? and he's calling Judah, you know, Judah and Benjamin. So, uh, so he was kind of dividing up there, you know, uh, and like verse 8, uh, uh, and I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Ju Israel committed adul adultery, well, it, you know, Israel... The northern ten tribes uh, were, were, were backsliding, okay? and they had committed the same, same adultery, but, but he's also saying that, that Israel's adultery, you know, spiritual adultery, was worse than her treacherous sister Judah. Okay? Compares Israel and, and Judah as... as Sisters, and uh, hmm? yeah, chapter three. Yes, but I've been reading a couple in in. Yeah, I'm reading in verse eight, a couple of places. Okay, so I put her, put her away, uh, whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery. I had put her away, uh, and given her a bill of divorce. Okay. So, uh, you know. Uh, because of because of Israel's uh, uh, sin of, of idolatry, yet her her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. Okay? Judah did his, did the same thing, but he what he's saying in in that section that we kind of uh, studied last week, but didn't get on TV, that. Uh, uh, Judah's sin was worse than what Israel's sin was, because Israel, you know, he's he's saying that that you know it it was still bad, it was still iniquities, it was still sin, it was bad, but okay, they they weren't uh, two faced about it. They weren't, you know, after worshiping, after going to the temple which they had at that time in Jerusalem, after going to the temple and doing their offering at the temple, you know, and uh, then they would, they would go home and then they would worship whatever idols they had at home. They, you know, they were uh, hypocrites about it. And that, that's what made it worse. They were doing the same thing as Israel was, but they were, they were piling it on by... Uh, not, not even, they weren't even fear, fearing God. Okay? So we come down to verse 11. And the Lord said unto me, uh, Jeremiah, the backsliding Israel hath justified herself more than treacherous Judah. Okay? You know, they, they, they didn't, Israel, uh, what I can gather from this, Israel didn't make if you will, false, um, um, what am I trying to, uh, uh, false reasonings for, for their idol idolatry. They just went ahead and did their idolatry. Okay? They didn't cover it up by, by going to the temple like treacherous Judah did. So that, that's, that's the picture here. So uh, he tells in verse 12, God tells Jeremiah, Go and proclaim these words toward the north, toward Israel, toward the ten tribes, the northern ten tribes. You know, they're, they're already, they've already been taken into captivity. And say, and, and here's, here's something for us too, okay? Return, thou backsliding Israel. Return, come back, turn around. Saith the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, 
Now here's something, this is something for us today. You know, we, we can backslide. We can, you know, if, if we are, if we, if we have accepted Jesus as our Savior, we can backslide. We can, you know, commit sins and, and all of that. But, okay, God is like he did with, with uh, like, well, like he did with, with Israel, you know, wrote out a bill of divorcement and, and put her away. Okay. He's telling Israel, okay, the northern ten tribes, return, come back to me, saith the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. Remember, one of the verses last week uh, asked the question, doo -doo -doo, uh, where, oh, okay, where did I go? Turn. Anyway, ask, ask the question, Will I have my? Will I hold my anger forever? And you know that's the wonderful thing with God; He 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 will not hold His anger forever. Okay? He He gives us tons and tons of second chances. He gives us more second chances. You know, God does, and and forgives. You know, as long as we return, repent. Come back to him. So we get more, more second chances than, than, than we deserve. Amen. Yeah. We don't deserve his mercy. But he gives it to us anyway. I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, saith the Lord. And I will not keep anger forever. You know, you know anybody in, in, in your <laughs> life that... that Holds grudges forever. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And we we all you know we've all known somebody like that. You know they, they get angry at somebody and and it's forever. And, and I will not. But God, he he's he's merciful. He's he's not going to keep his anger forever. Verse thirteen. Only acknowledge thine iniquity okay confess your sins to god okay? don't need to go to go to a priest or 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 somebody else like that confess your sin figure out okay tell god that you are a sinner that's what he's saying tell god okay i worship this idol he's telling israel this i worship these idols and I forgot about you, but I want to come back to you. Okay. And, and, and as you know, pastor preaches, uh, you know, one, one thing about getting the salvation message out is you got to let folks know. And we, we have to realize that we are sinners. You know, now, in, in kind of, if, if you ever want to spend another three weeks listening to my testimony with my, you know, anyway, uh, or 40 minutes like it takes. Uh, you know, before, uh, before, actually, Pastor Preston came to our house, before seven-year-old neighbor invited Casey to come to church and brought, brought her to church, and then Pastor Preston came to, came to, came to my house. Okay. Before then, you know, I, I, I was the good boy in the family. I was the good guy in the family, you know. My, my sisters, not so much. <laughs> you know, uh, and of course, my mom, not so much either. Uh, you know, as I've said a couple of times before. But anyway, uh, you know, I thought, hey, I haven't murdered anybody lately. I haven't, uh, uh, you know, robbed any banks lately uh you know any of that stuff uh, so you know I, i'm what what do i need jesus for what do i need salvation for huh lately yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah haven't robbed any yeah lately <laughs> now I, I i i do get a little bit of, little bit of, uh, well, 
road rage, you know, when, uh, when somebody is following so closely behind me that if I, you know, if I had to stop real quick, if some, if some little kid pulled out, you know, came out and run it, ran in the street in front of me and I had to stop quickly to avoid this kid, this guy would smack into me and I would be getting a new car. Okay. Yeah. And the ones that are in front of you. And the ones that are, yeah, <laughs> the ones that are in front of me, for, for some reason, I, I either get everybody behind me, is right behind me, or everybody in front of me is going so slowly, you know, oh. they're, they're, they're the ones, they're the ones that, that will, you know, if they're behind me, they will pass me and get in front of me and slow down. Yeah. So any, anyway, so I, I have a little bit of, and, and, and I, yeah, uh, stuff like that. But, okay, now I can turn back to God, just like here. He, he says, uh, return thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord. I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. I am merciful. God's mercy is wonderful. Uh, only acknowledge thine iniquity, that thou hast, you know, acknowledge that you have transgressed, that you've sinned against the Lord, against the Lord thy God. And he's telling this to, again, he's telling this to God's chosen people. Even though the northern ten tribes, you know, they're, they're, they've had their problems, they split off. And, and forgot about God, too. But, you know, Judah was worse. But, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're, they are still uh, God's chosen people. And I, I guess that's why, isn't that, that, that's why the world today is so, why should anybody be angry with the Jews, the Jewish people, just because God selected him, them? in the beginning but God selected them for a purpose jealous. yeah that, that's about it jealous and and uh, and, and to to, uh, to you know have this our, our Savior okay descend from them the Savior that we really really need okay. uh, so you acknowledge that you've transgressed against the Lord and, and, ha and has scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. You know, you've done every green tree. This is the, the same idol worship. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Okay. Here, here, is, here is God's voice right here. Okay. And... And there, there's a, a lot of this stuff in here applies to us. It applies to the Jewish people. It applies to us. Okay? Because he actually, you know, sent them to reach us. Okay? Where there's no difference between us and them. There's no difference between us and anybody else. God is no respecter of persons. He treats everybody the same, and uh, and even 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 our even our constitu our constitution. All men are created, or no? Yeah, that, no, that's the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, got to get the right document there. Uh, all men are created equal, okay? And and that you know that's not just when it says all men are not are are are. Yeah, are not, lost one, okay, huh? All men are created equal, okay? It includes the women, all human beings, doesn't matter what race they are, you know, what color skin they have, doesn't matter, you know, anything like that to God, we're all created equal and we all need him. Doesn't doesn't matter doesn't matter who you might follow these days. You might be Muslim following Muhammad, or or a Confucian 
Yeah, con con confusion. <laughs> Uh, confusion, confusion, following. Con confusion following Confucius, or you know Buddha or Hind. Hey, we all need God, and all of this this stuff here. Hey, all acknowledge thine iniquity. Turn thou, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. Hey, now he, now he, we've got two two kind of. Things here. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. Okay? We are, and, and the New Testament teaches that, that we, are the, we are the bride of Christ. Okay? He's the bridegroom, we are the bride, and I will take you of one city. Okay? Uh, you know, all, all of us, everyone, he's married to all of us, and I will take you of one of a city and two of a family. Okay? You know, uh, wh whoever follows him will will be accepted, if you will, as a bride married to God. Okay, and I will and, and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Okay, so he's married to you. And there, there's also the the idea. Okay, uh, we we are we are his children, eternal backsliding children. We're children of God, and we've got a, a relationship, a double relationship here. Children and, if you will, wives or married, yeah, wives. Or the, uh, or the yeah, the bride of Christ. And, 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 and you know, as children, hey, we're, we're sure of Father's love. Okay? And as a wife or... As a bride, you know, they have hope. And here's the thing. They have hope for the revival of past affection from the husband, the bridegroom, of their youth. You, you kind of follow that? You know, when, when we become the, 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 the bride of Christ, when we accept Jesus as our Savior, okay, we, and... and you know, even if, if 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 we're backslidden, we have we have that hope. You know, like we started here with with uh, you know divorcing a, a man, divorcing a wife, and and all of that. Well, the wife can come back to the husband, and we can go back. We have that that past affection from the husband. 